Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this session I will focus on bottlenecks related to page wage weights. You detected a slow running query. Then you investigated that slow running query and found that they are mainly waiting for the resource. You found out that the wait type is something like page wedge. So what you should do? I'll explain to troubleshoot this kind of cases in the session. First of all, if you do not know what is latching, latch contention, and the meaning of page latch weights, I highly recommend watching my another video beforehand to fully understand this session. I will concentrate on only troubleshooting in the session. Let's get started. This is my server with 64 CPU. My server is very slow, even small queries are taking a lot of time. Then to troubleshoot this issue, I execute following query and try to find whether my queries are running on CPU or waiting for some kind of resource. Oh, you can see that my queries are mainly waiting with page latch weights. Interesting. Let's also open resource monitor and see what's the main weights my server is facing. Buffer latch, which is page latch, right? Now we did first step. We identified that we are facing bottleneck with wait type page latch update. The next step is to identify what kind of page we are waiting. For this, we look at wait resource and identify page type. You can see here that wait resources are all with a pattern, two column, one column, some big numbers, right? We are then, I understand that two here is database ID, second number is file ID, third is page ID. If we look at database ID, we can confirm that it is tempdb. Interesting. If our resource is two column x column one form, it is considered as PFS page. If it is two column x column three, it is SGM page. Also, if it is two column x and some kind of multiple of 8088, uh, 8, it is also PFS page. If we divide one of these big numbers by 8088, we can confirm that it is multiple of 8088, which means this is PFS page. So it became clear. Page latch contention is happening on PFS pages of TempDB. All these are PFS pages. This problem is called object allocation contention in TempDB. What does this mean? Let's say you have TempDB with two data files. Initially, each data file consists of initial extents. In this extents, uh, initial PFS, GM, SGM pages are created to track the next pages and extents. If you create any object like temporary table, temporary variable, a separate extent is created and corresponding pages are allocated. During this process, SGM and PFS pages are scanned and updated. During this process, page ledge update ledge is taken. Okay? As you create more and more objects and also do high insert operations, new pages are created and new extents are allocated. This causes high load on PFS page. In this way, ledge contention on PFS pages can occur and this is happening in our case also. Microsoft has corresponding documentation to resolve this kind of issue, which I'm sharing in the description of this video. A simple way to resolve this issue is to increase the number of files per file group. In this way, more PFS pages are created and the load is distributed among these pages. The, I reproduce this issue, this uh, contention issue, by using OS stress. I created 1,400 simultaneous connections and each connection is running this query where I create temp ta table and insert data more than billion times. This caused page latch contention. Okay, so to summarize what I did, I identified that my queries are waiting with page latch update weights. Second, I identified what kind of page they are waiting and found that they are waiting for pages in TempDB PFS type pages. Finally, this issue became clear by using Microsoft official documentation. Okay, I did a little bit Google searching, of course. I found out that this is an object allocation contention and identified the resolution is just increasing data files in TempDB. In this way, we troubleshoot page latch in which database and what kind of page we are waiting first, we should find and find resolution based on this. But we don't always face page latch on TempDB pages. There can be also latch contention on user databases. Let's see this kind of example also. 
I have this environment where slow performance is being observed. After checking weight types, I have found many page latch weights. Here, as you can see, database ID is 5. This is the ID of my user database called testdb. Second one is file ID and third one is page ID. Let's check what kind of page this is. For this, I run dbcc page command with by enabling trace flag 3604. Okay, what do we have? Here we can see page ID, then M type is equal to 2, which indicates that this is index page. M level is equal to 1, which means that this page is not located at the leaf level, but at the intermediate level page in index. Let's see which table this page belongs to. For this, we use object ID and database ID, which is equal to 5 in our case. Okay, this is a table called heavy insert. Okay, to summarize, I'm facing page latch contention on index page. What might be the cause? Then after searching and investigating a little uh, Microsoft documentations, I quickly found this documentation. Got it. Let me explain the issue. This issue is called last page insert page latch contention. I created my table by using this T-SQL where I set identity column as primary index, which creates clustered index as you know, of course, right? It means that index pages are created ordering the data by the leading key column, which is identity here. I am inserting data constantly by using this, this T-SQL by using the loop. You can also confirm the same by using the output of our investigation query here. Hmm, now I understand. Since the data is ordered by identity column, all new data inserts occur on the same page at the, at the end of the index until that page is filled. Under high load, the concurrent insert operations may cause contention on the page because all of the inserts are being done on, on one page. So what is the resolution here? Microsoft is suggesting not to use any column with sequential columns like identity, date as primary key. Instead, we should use columns like, like product ID so that this column distributes the load among different pages. In this way, we can resolve this kind of contention. This is a short summary of today's discussion. I hope that you found this video useful. Thank you for your time.